All right, guys, welcome to the channel. So today we're talking Tesla Model Y, and I want to explain kind of why I'm selling my Tesla Model X for a new Model Y, kind of the reasoning behind that, because they are a little bit different vehicles. The Model Y is a little bit smaller, but I feel that it might meet our needs as far as the utility is concerned when it comes to you know using it as a family vehicle. So currently we have a 2016 Tesla Model X. It's the 90D version. So in 2016, there was five trims. This is like the middle of the road trim. It, can, it, it originally charged up to 257 miles, goes zero to 60 in 4.8 seconds. It's all wheel drive, it's got the Falcon doors. Ours is a six seater, so it has the captain chairs in the second row, and then two in the rear, so it's a six seater. And we've liked it pretty, we've liked it pretty well. It's been, it's been a good vehicle for us. Uh, one reason we, we're, we're looking at selling that and going to a Y, the, really the main reason is Model X values are through the roof right now. This is August of 2021. Because the new Model X, which is the SUV, it's not coming out until next year. Deliveries are not until, until first or second quarter of next year. So six, seven, eight months out right now for a new one. That's really driven the prices of the used market on a Model X. So right now, even though we've owned our Model X for five months, we can sell it for a you know 20 to 30, 20 to 25 percent return. From, or more than what we bought it for, which is which seems really crazy from just five months ago. The prices have really shot up. It seems like there's a correlation. When gas prices go up, so do electric vehicle prices. People start looking more at them. And with inventory being low, the chip shortage, et cetera, really just driven the prices up. So now would be a good time to sell that car and then place an order for a new Y. And we could almost it almost would be for the same price we get for our 2016 X, which has 80,000 miles on it, and it's you know 2016. That's almost a five-year-old vehicle. It is five years old. We could get a brand new Model Y for less than what we'd sell our X for. So it, it would would make a little bit, which is which is pretty crazy. So I want to go through the Model Y. Just kind of go through some reasonings why we're looking at that one, and go through the configurator tool on the Tesla website, and just kind of go through the options that we went through. So here we are on the Tesla website. This is just the the home page for Tesla. As we go through, we go to order now. We're just going to go through some of the options on the Y. All right. If we look here, as far as the trim is concerned, there's only two options. I like Tesla that they just make it easy. You know, there's a long range and a performance here. Long range starts at 49.9. Performance fifty six nine. Now they do consider they do have a forty three hundred dollar, like, savings. You know they're considering like that you're what you're saving on gas, which I think is is dumb. They should just have what the what the purchase price is. So I'm looking at long range. So if we look at long range, looking at three hundred and twenty six miles, on a charge, one hundred thirty five miles per hour total, four point eight seconds. Now the the nice thing is. Our 2016 Tesla Model X, the 90D, is 060 in the exact same amount of time. So this Model Y is going to feel very similar in performance when it comes to, you know, acceleration. If we go down the other option here, we're looking at paint. Uh, right now, this is August of 2021, white is included in the price, so there's no additional cost for white. We're doing black. We like black. Most of our vehicles are black, so we're doing black. Black's a thousand bucks. Looks like the the red's two thousand dollars. So, and then the other option here, we're looking at wheels. The nineteen inch, I I don't I cannot stand the look of these wheels. So we're so I'd have to do the I'm doing the twenty inch wheels, these induction wheels. Two thousand dollars. That's not a bad price for these upgraded wheels. And then one thing that I'm also going adding to mine is the tow hitch. Now the tow hitch, I think I'm probably not going to tow with this, but where, where where I think this is going to be useful is hooking up like a bike rack or a ski rack or you know some kind of a rack to carry bigger, bulkier items. Or it can tow up to 3,500 pounds, so that's not a bad towing rating. You can you could tow a small trailer if you needed to, you know, a little small utility trailer and haul some some small things. You could you know haul dirt bikes and stuff like that with this. Okay, interior color of your leather we got white and black black we're doing black my wife did not want white at all she does not like the look of the white white looks good but with having four kids and just it we can we can foresee it just getting dirtier so we're doing black and there's no additional cost for the black seven seat versus five seat now we're doing the seven seat and it's a three thousand dollar if you can see here right here it's a three thousand dollar option to do the seven seats 
but what you get so this just kind of says your third row seating easy entry usb charging the split second row fold flat and electronic fold electronic fold flat release so you get the second row to fold flat electronically okay moving down the last option to choose from is the full self driving capability and you can see here it's ten thousand dollars to add that capability navigating an autopilot lane change auto park summon full self driving computer traffic light stop sign control i mean it's that's an expensive option now i did not choose that on mine and both of my cars i have now i have the 16 model x and a 15 model s both have autopilot and you get autopilot already without having to add this full self driving capability so i was fine not paying ten thousand dollars more to to be able to you know have the full self driving the autopilot works awesome and i think it'd be just as uh I, I don't think I'll miss having this full self-driving, especially since auto steer on city streets really is not even available. It really can't drive itself, essentially. It's not legal for it to do so. So I'm not adding this. This could probably be, they'll have the hardware installed. It's just the computer that you'll probably be able to upgrade in the future. And I would guess it's going to get uh, cheaper. So if you see here, uh, this is uh, end of August 2021. If we order now, we're estimating a delivery time of January 2022. So, you know, we've got four and a half months or so to wait to get this car. And this is kind of what we're looking at. So basically black interior, black wheels, black paint. Uh, total purchase price with all these options here, 60, we can see here 60990 And then there's also a destination fee, dock fee and your order fee that are included in that. So it's about $62,000 is the cost of this vehicle. Uh, what's interesting is I can get more than that out of my model, my, my old Model X, which is pretty crazy. So when you go to continue to payment here, if you see here, there's a due today of a $250 non-refundable order fee. So you can place your order and if you decide you want to cancel, you lose your $250, which is kind of a bummer. They should they should refund that or at least give most of that back to you if you decide not to because they could sell the car easily. Like if January rolls around and I don't want to buy the car, someone else would buy this car for the same price. They would have no problem selling it. So the fact that you you kind of lose your $250 and we're expecting the delivery date to be further out into 2022 than January. That Tesla has historically delayed their deliveries, maybe not on purpose, but just because of production delays. And with chip shortages the way they are right now and the backlog they have in orders, I'm not expecting you to be able to get this till March or April of next year. So uh, we're not holding our breath as far as January is concerned. But if I have got to wait, you know, if I have to wait eight months for this, I should be able to get my $250 back if they don't if they can't deliver it in January. So that's what I'm thinking. What I would always recommend if you're going to order a vehicle from Tesla, always use a referral code because with a referral code you get free supercharging miles. If you use a referral code, you're going to get free supercharging miles. I'll leave my referral code down in the description and in the comments below. Use mine. I get free supercharging, you get free supercharging. So it's kind of a win-win for both of us if you end up ordering through that link. And there's no additional cost for you to do that. It just, you know, is a way Tesla promotes their vehicles through referrals. They actually spend zero on marketing or advertising. It's all really through word of mouth and people doing videos like this and reviews and uh, people riding. You once you ride in one of these vehicles, you want one. I mean, that's all. That's all it takes. So, use that referral code. It gives you at least some free supercharging miles, up to a thousand free supercharged miles. You know, that'll that'll uh, you know take care of a, a, a long road trip for you. And uh, I think that the Model Y, with its new hardware, its new technology, the ability to charge faster, that's one cool thing, is these can charge a lot faster. You know, these can charge up to 250 kilowatts. These new V3, these version 3 superchargers stations, whereas my old ones, my 16 and my 15, they can only charge at about 75 kilowatts. So on a long trip, not only, not only can this go... The 326 miles but it can also recharge a lot faster than an older one it can take advantage of the new charging infrastructure and charging speeds which that's a big deal 
All right, guys, well, that's kind of just the, the configuration of that Model Y that we're looking at that we ordered. And be sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and use that referral link. If you're looking at buying a Tesla, use a referral link because you're going to get those free supercharger miles. You'll help, help us out. That'll help you out. And as we get closer, we'll, we'll go through more on the delivery process. If this is actually going to come the time frame they're saying, now that's the, big, that's the big question mark. Is it going to come in January or is it going to be further out? I'm preparing further out. Also, we're going to be getting the Model X ready to sell, and it'll be it'll be interesting to see what we're going to get out of that one. Uh, quick teaser: we're gonna we're probably going to be asking like mid 60s for that one for a Model X. It's strange; I paid 48.2 for that five months ago, and uh, so we're asking mid 60s for it, which that's not even that's right in line with all what, what what all the others that are being asked for. So that's not an astronomical price. It's crazy that it's a that it's appreciated like that. So, watch. Uh, stay tuned to the channel. Hit that thumbs up button. Leave comments below, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.